The floor is yours, sir. Okay. All right. So well, I'll start sharing my screen. First of all, thank you all. Thank you, Luke. Okay. So I'm gonna get started. All right, so here we go. So this is, uh, I'll, I'll start, we'll, we'll talk about uh, client video testimonials today, but just to give you an idea of who I am. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm Neko Turkenich, I'm the owner of uh, Lay Productions and we are a video production company that is dedicated to creating video content for businesses. I've been a director and editor of video content and TV programs since 1990, when I started working in different channels in, in, back in Israel, uh, where I had the opportunity also to direct eight uh, documentary films for television. I'm originally from Brazil, Porto Alegre. That's not where the background be behind me is. And I'm also an Israeli and an American. I've been in the US since 2004. And I live in White Plains, New York, and I have two adult children and one one-year grandson. That's me. So um, I I like to define myself as a video alchemist because I like taking the raw materials from a business, and that means their goals, ideas, and transmute them into what I would call visual gold, which is a great video content that they can then use to generate more business. Nobody does video just to do video. So today I would like to talk with you about client video testimonials and why I say that they are actually the ultimate tool for to help you close more business. So come with me. So before we talk about video testimonials, let's talk a little bit about sales. Uh, and one of the most challenging parts of sales is, as everybody knows, overcoming objections. And most of the methods to overcome uh, sales objections are based on live conversation with a potential customer. But what about all the people that check you online? And due to their objections, they end up never giving you a chance to talk with them. So that's where video can help in a very effective way. And that's what we'll take a look today. So you can use many different types of video content to address sales objections. Can be a sales video, can be a product video, can be a, a FAQ video, can be a social media video, and or even a, a branding video. But the type of video from my experience that does it the best is uh, you, you guessed right, a client video testimonials. So let's take a look at the reasons for that. For one, you don't want to tout your own horn, yeah? But the main reason is trust. And like, think about it. Who doesn't check reviews or testimonials before buying anything these days, yeah? So let me bring you some numbers to make it even more clear how, how reviews are important. So this is a research by Bright Local that says that 98% of people look at online reviews about local businesses before making any purchase. And this other is, uh, research uh, by Wise also sh shows, shows that 95% of people say that reviews, both positive or, or negative, have influence on their buying decisions. So to generate trust, there's nothing like seeing and hearing a real customer talking about how you help them solve a problem or achieve a goal, whatever. So Let's watch a few seconds, only a few seconds from a real client testimony that we did. This is a client of a client of mine that is a business consultant to mortgage professionals. So just a few seconds here. What makes David really stand out as a coach is his vast mortgage knowledge and experience. And that's what was really important to me. I mean, I've had business coaches that, you know, have coached executives across many different industries, but in the group. Okay, so I'll stop. Just wanted to you guys to see how it looks. I'll, I'll explain afterwards how it's made. It's not on location. So another reason 
that why video testimonials work better than any written reviews is empathy. Uh, a good video testimonial will cause the viewer to empathize with the person talking, like to feel that the problem that the person is describing is exactly the same problem that they have. So a few numbers again, other surveys indicate that 79% of people say that they've watched the video testimonial to learn more about a company they wanted to do business. And I'm sure you, you have done that too. And 77% say that video testimonials have played an important part in convincing them to buy a service or a product. So if, uh, if you have a prospect and the prospect is on the fence about doing business with you, that video testimonial can give the last push. And that's because they touch people's feeling rather than their logic. Yeah, and we all know, we do business, we know that people make business decisions based much more on feelings than logic. And okay, so you may say now that, okay, that's all good and dandy, but I like to base my business on referrals. I hear that every day. And my answer would be, well, video testimonials are very much like referrals. And let me explain why I'm saying this, okay? So what are referrals anyway? Let's think. Uh, there, there are people who have received a personal recommendation to work with you, either from someone that knows you or even better from someone that actually used your service and loved it. But what are reviews? Well, they, they're pretty much the same thing, but they are coming from someone that that prospect doesn't know personally. So according to another research, 49%, 49% of people trust consumer reviews as much as personal recommendations from people they know, from family and friends. So my point is, a good client video testimonials are excellent referral sources, and they have the advantage of working for you 24-7 if they are done right, okay? And what do I mean by right? Let me explain. So let's take a look at what makes a client video testimonial effective. So. I can divide it into two parts. There's a technical part and there's a content part. On the technical part, okay, a client, an, an effective client video testimonial must, first of all, be short, two minutes or less. Like people don't have patience for more than that. Attention span is short. Number two, have good video quality. Even if what the person is saying is relevant, if all you see of their face is a silhouette against a bright background or the camera is constantly moving, you will not keep watching, you will stop. Number three, have clear audio. Like at least 50% of the video is audio. If you need to make an effort to hear the person's voice among a lot of background noise, you will not even start watching. And you should include, always include branding. It must be clear that the customer is talking about your service. So it's a must that they mention your name, the name of your company or both. and it's good that the video would feature your company name and logo and most importantly, information to help the viewer contact you because you need to remember that people may watch a testimonial in places other than your own website. And by the way, guys, if someone is taking notes, I, uh, I have a PDF with all this content at the end that I will give you a link to download if you want, okay? Um, on the content part, on the content part, an effective client video testimonial First of all, it must be relevant to your target audience, which is, of course, potential clients. So what, what we want people to be able to learn from a testimonial. Number one, what was the original problem that prompted that customer to look for help? Number two, what made, it this, made them decide to work with you and not others? Number three, how was the experience of working with you? Number four, what problems or issues did you solve for that client and how did you do that? Then number five, results. What kind of results did you produce for them? And number six, would they recommend you? And most importantly, why? Why would they recommend you? If, uh, if, if, imagine if a, if a client says how much they love you and what a great person you are, great smile you have, that's very nice, but it's really not effective and not relevant for a prospect. Now, how do you create video testimonials? And there are basically two main methods, like interview-based and do-it-yourself. A client video testimonial has to be 
authentic. And yes, I know the term authentic is vague. It's overused. So let me explain. By authentic, I mean believable, engaging, spontaneous, as opposed to rehearsed, baked, and mechanical. So the question is, what is the best way to get an authentic client feeder testimonial? Like interviewing your client or asking them to do it themselves? So let's start with the DIY uh, option. So you simply ask uh, your client to grab their to grab their phone, turn the camera on on themselves, and talk about how wonderful it is working with you. So the pluses of this option are it's very easy for your client. Like they can do it whenever they want, wherever they want. It depends entirely on them. And more than that, it's easy for you. You don't have to do any scheduling, no filming. Just get the footage from your client, editing, which I recommend always, and posting it. So that those are the pluses. Now, what are the min minuses of this uh, option? First of all, the video quality. Like depending on the technical savviness of that client, the video may look pretty bad. And so late, let's say they shoot it handheld and not with a tripod, so it's shaky, or the background is very bright and they look like a silhouette. Second thing is audio quality. As I said before, very important. There may be a lot of background noise or the microphone on their phone is not good. Number three, very important, is the content. Now, you know your client is going to say good things about you, but whatever they say, it may not be relevant to a prospect. And authenticity, again, if your client decides to write the testimonial down and read it or memorize, the result, even if it's all true, may sound very mechanical and therefore not authentic. People will not believe it. And Number five, it's a headache for your client because they need to come up with something to say. They need to shoot it. It's a lot of work for them. Okay, so let's look at the interview-based option. So the pluses, pluses are A, one video quality, like either if you're doing it remotely or on location, uh, you can make sure that your client's well-framed, has good lighting, good background, et cetera. Second thing is audio quality. You can make sure that you're using a good microphone and that your client is in a quiet enough space. Number three, again, super important, content. You have full control of the content because you were asking the questions that, and those questions were crafted with the intention of getting answers that will be relevant to potential clients. So you have control of the content. Number four, authenticity. Again, your client will be speaking freely because they only answer your questions. So it doesn't get any more authentic than that. And you want it to be authentic. And it's less headache for your client because there's nothing they need to prepare. Just they, they just need to answer your your questions candidly. Now, the, what are the minuses of this? Well, first of all, it's more work for you. You need to schedule. You need to prepare questions. You need to shoot it remotely or on location and then edit it. It it, it is more expensive. So unless you know how to shoot and edit yourself, you'll want to hire a professional to do that, and that will cost you money. It's some work for a client because in case you're doing it on location, your client will need to invest a significant amount of time for the interview. And they may also need to go somewhere to do it in case you're not doing it at their location. So in conclusion, it's safe to say that the interview option will yield much better results than the do-it-yourself. More than that, having I, I've heard the results that many of my clients uh, achieved from interview-based video testimonials, and I would say it's a very good investment. Now, talking about investment, as I mentioned before, this kind of video testimonials involves investing money and also having your client invest a lot of time. Now, that was all true until a new option for these kinds of testimonials appeared, and this option, and in full disclosure here, it's something that we do a lot in my at my company. So the, I'm talking about remote video testimonials. So what are remote video testimonials? Like simply put, they are a professional way to create high quality interview-based testimonials that are hassle-free for business owners and their clients. And by hassle-free, I mean easier to do than writing a Google review. That's hassle-free. And they are professionally done and, and they are very affordable, which means they're perfect for small and medium businesses with a limited budget. So let me tell you, uh, how it's done. So remote video uh, testimonies are part of remote video production, which is a way to create high quality videos without the need for a video crew on location. Now you may ask is doing, is this recording video on Skype or Zoom? And the answer is no, okay? Because uh, uh, the reason is the quality 
of the of the video and audio that you can obtain using uh, these platforms. The person on the other side may have a great camera and a great microphone and even good lighting, but you are recording them over the internet and the quality of the connection will, will uh, be a big influence on that. So, and another reason for lower quality is the fact that most of these platforms, they will, in one way or another, they will compress the video image just to make it flow faster online. And that reduces a lot of the quality. Okay, so we can divide remote video productions again in two parts, technology and professional. The technology is based on using a smartphone, using smartphone cameras, which nowadays, you know, smartphones can produce HD, 4K, sometimes 8K, very high resolution. So to achieve this, we use a platform that allows us to record locally in a person's phone as if they were recording themselves. So from the subject's perspective, it looks like a video chat. And all our client needs to do is introduce us to their client. So we do all the rest. We contact that client. We schedule a remote video session. We send them a little kit that includes a tripod for their phone and a lapel microphone, free. And why a microphone? Because smartphones are, have great cameras, but don't fool yourself. Their microphones are not so good because they need to be wide. So if you want clean audio when shooting with a, with a phone, always, always use an external microphone, okay? So after the clients receive the kit, they all they need to do is download an app. There's nothing for them to write down or shoot themselves. They just need to open the app and show up for the interview at the time schedule. Usually it's 30 minutes or less. Therefore, there's no hassle for our clients or their clients. And then the original footage is uploaded to the cloud to be professionally edited. The professional part is that on the other side of the app, you have a... Uh, an experienced video director in interviewing that it will ask the questions that will aim to get answers to a questions a potential customer would ask, you know, the famous FAQ. And then a professional editor will edit the video down, so it needs to be short, to no more than two minutes. No, no, yeah. And then the video is then branded, enhanced with graphics, all the information needed to help a potential customer connect with you uh, as fast as possible. And another advantage is affordability. Remote video testimonials cost significantly less. I would say 50% less, even more than a professional video done on location with a video crew. And the results are pretty much the same. And sometimes they're even better. So now that you have client video testimonials, it doesn't matter how you got them. What do you do with it? First of all, post it on YouTube. Like if you have a YouTube channel, post them there. And if you don't have a YouTube channel, guys, make a youtube channel it's free you should you should always have a youtube channel so please do not do not upload videos do not upload your testimonials directly to your website it makes them play badly once they are on youtube you can embed them on your website so, so the next thing is post them on your website embed on your website on a testimonial pages that is easy to find okay don't hide it it's the best way to start building trust with eventual site visitors. So make sure to have at least, I would say, five or six testimonials with different stories so they can speak to different kinds of prospects. Next one, post it on social, on social media. Don't need to explain too much about that. It's like you should post it on Facebook, LinkedIn. It's, 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 it creates engagement and, and social proof. Include it in email campaigns. Uh, email marketing campaigns such as new letters, standalone emails can also be part of a case study that you send through an email and it will increase your open rate. Having a video always increase your open rate and your click through rate. And the most important, I would say, use it in your sales process because the most effective way to use video testimonials, as I said in the beginning, when in a conversation with a prospect and you see that they are on the fence, you can tell them you send a link to a video testimonial. And, and I can say that I have a lot of clients that include video testimonials as part of their proposals even. They put links to testimonials as part of the proposal or a presentation they're doing. And I've heard from a lot of clients that doing that helped close a sale. So last but not least, we're almost done, uh, repurposing. Like the one of the great things that you can do with client video testimonials and with any video is repurposing when you're creating other kinds of videos for a business. Like you can and you should use client video testimonials. For example, if you're doing a branding video, using snippets from two or three client testimonials 
will make the video much more effective. You can also create video ads using snippets from testimonials. So really, it's an investment that, that continues giving. And another way, to, uh, great way to use clients is the testimonials is, as I mentioned before, to include them in case studies. Anyways, the list is endless. All right, so that's where we we get to a landing. So in conclusion, I hope I managed to clarify the importance of creating and using client video testimonials. Uh, I would say it's definitely a not, not a nice to have, but a must have in my opinion. And thank you for being such a, a great audience.